Today, we are going to learn 13 red flags that you might be living with insulin resistance. If you have two or more of these symptoms, then it's extremely important that you take action sooner rather than later to stop the progression of this condition. Stay until the end to get some free resources to reverse insulin resistance. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Type 2 Diabetes Revolution channel. If you're new here, my name is Jose, and I am an exercise physiologist that has helped thousands of people improve their blood sugar for good. It's very nice to meet you. Today, we are diving into a crucial health topic that affects millions of people worldwide, insulin resistance. If you have been feeling fatigued, gaining weight, or struggling with sugar cravings, then you might want to pay attention. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you are notified about new upcoming content in our YouTube channel. For daily content and updates, you can also follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Our name is Type 2 Diabetes Revolution. First, let's make sure that we understand what insulin resistance is. Insulin resistance occurs when our cells stop responding to the signals of insulin which is a hormone that is produced by the pancreas. Insulin acts like a key that opens the door of our cells so glucose can go from the bloodstream and into the cell. This hormone, insulin, plays a vital role in blood sugar regulation at all times of the day. In a healthy scenario, when somebody eats carbohydrates, the pancreas releases this insulin keys that opens the door of our cells so glucose can go into the cell. In other words, blood glucose is getting reduced because the glucose is being absorbed by our cells so they can use it as energy. However, when our cells become resistant to these keys, the doors don't open. And when the door of the cell is not opened, glucose cannot go into the cell, so it stays circulating the bloodstream. And this is what leads to elevated blood sugar levels. Now, why is insulin resistance a cause for concern? Well, it's like a domino effect that affects multiple areas of our health. First, persistent elevated blood sugar levels can lead to prediabetes and then the development of type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance is the underlying cause of these metabolic conditions. Additionally, insulin resistance is closely linked to many other metabolic conditions like high cholesterol, hypertension, and fatty liver disease. When these diseases continue to progress, then multiple other systems get compromised, like our cardiovascular system, our kidneys, our vision, and many other systems in our body. Understanding these consequences is extremely important to underscore the importance of reversing insulin resistance and treating it early. Red flag number one, frequent hunger. Are you constantly hungry even after you finish a meal? Well, this can be a result of insulin not working properly. When our hormones are not communicating with our cells properly, our satiety signals can get all mixed up and this can leave you unsatisfied after eating and actually craving even more food. Evidence suggests that this might be due to the close relationship between insulin and ghrelin, the body's hunger hormone. This also happens because with impaired insulin function, glucose stays outside of the cell instead of being taken up by the cell for energy which can leave you feeling hungrier than usual. Number two, skin tags. Recent studies suggest the link between skin tags and impaired insulin signaling. The connection appears to be rooted in hyperinsulinemia, which means that your body is producing excess insulin in hopes to bring blood sugar down to normal levels. Because insulin also have growth promoting effects it can lead to the development of skin tags. These painless pigmented skin growths can be removed, but that is just a band-aid solution. You have to remember that there is an underlying metabolic condition 
that is leading to the development of these skin packs. Number three, weight gain, especially around the midsection, also known as abdominal fat. If you have noticed extra inches around your midsection, even though you are eating healthy, then the possibility of insulin resistance should be considered. Although your genetics ultimately control where you deposit fat, fat around the midsection usually means that you're also storing fat around your organs. When excess adipose tissue, fat, starts accumulating around organs like the pancreas and the liver, they can start releasing free fatty acids and inflammatory signals that ultimately will interfere how insulin communicates with our cells, thus contributing to insulin resistance and ultimately type 2 diabetes. Number four, high blood pressure. Elevated blood pressure is another telltale sign of insulin resistance. Evidence has shown that about half of the people who are living with hypertension are also living with insulin resistance. And up to 80% of people who have already developed type 2 diabetes are also living with high blood pressure. High blood pressure is defined as anything greater than 140 millimeters of mercury for systolic blood pressure or anything greater than 90 millimeters of mercury for diastolic blood pressure. Red flag number five, high triglyceride levels. You absolutely have to keep an eye on your lipid profile. If your triglyceride levels are consistently high, which is considered anything above 150 milligrams per deciliter, then it is very possible that you're living with insulin resistance. Number six, polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS in women. Insulin resistance is a common factor in the development of PCOS. This can lead to irregular periods, fertility issues, and many other hormonal problems. In fact, more than 50% of women living with PCOS end up developing type 2 diabetes after the age of 40. Number seven, increased urination. Increased urination, especially in the middle of the night, can be a sign of insulin resistance. This happens because our kidneys are working extra hard to eliminate all of that excess blood sugar, which leads to excess urine production. Number eight, brain fog and difficulty concentrating. If you wake up with brain fog and go to sleep with brain fog, or you are even experiencing some memory issues, then insulin resistance might be something that you have to consider. The brain relies on stable blood sugar levels and problems with insulin signaling can disrupt our cognitive function. Number 10, slow wound healing. If you've noticed that cuts or bruises are taking longer to heal, then it could be due to impaired insulin function. When blood flow is compromised, then the necessary nutrients needed for healing are not reaching the damaged areas. If a finger cut, for example, is taking too long to heal, it can lead to infections. And this ultimately is how people living with type 2 diabetes end up with limb amputations. Red flag number 11, erectile dysfunction in men. Again, high blood sugar levels will end up damaging our nervous system and our circulatory system. And as a result, there's not going to be enough blood supply to our genitals, which eventually will lead to erectile dysfunction. Number 12, chronic inflammation. Insulin resistance is closely related with chronic inflammation, which can present in your body as joint aches and muscle pain. If you are dealing with unexplained joint pain or muscle pains, then it might be a sign of insulin resistance. Number 13, family history of type 2 diabetes. Last but not least, you have to take a look at your family history of diseases. If your parents or grandparents had type 2 diabetes, prediabetes, or insulin resistance, you might be at higher risk as well. But keep in mind that genetics are only one part of the picture. There's a famous doctor that says that genetics loads the gun, but lifestyle pulls the trigger. This essentially means that you have full control over the development or the prevention of type 2 diabetes. And there you go. 
those are the 13 flags that indicate that you might be living with insulin resistance. If you identify with several of these signs, then it's imperative that you speak to your healthcare provider. Early detection and lifestyle changes is one of the best things that you can do to stop the progression of insulin resistance. If you or a loved one want to get insulin resistance in check, then go to the description below and click on the link for our website, which is full of free resources for you. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody that might benefit from it as well. Oh, and don't forget to leave a comment below if you're experiencing any of these symptoms or if you have any questions. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.